What up guys, here for another video. Uh, it's been a minute, hasn't been too much going on. Past couple weekends, not much racing. We went out last night, it was just like some roll racing with some faster cars and wasn't too much for me to participate in, just to watch. But uh, today I'm gonna go look at a truck. A buddy of mine I work with is selling a truck. More than enough to uh, tow this thing. So uh, I'm gonna go look at it and it's pretty cheap. Um, I know the body doesn't look the best, but the parts underneath the truck is what really matters and I won't really be driving it I don't even have a trailer yet or anything but um, coming up here soon like this week I got already ordered motor mounts um, and they're on back order so I'm waiting on those but this week I should be ordering the rear subframe and the carbon fiber hatch and I don't know how long either job is going to take and I want to have a reliable backup car in case something just does happen I snap a bolt or something crazy where the car is going to need to be on jack stands longer than expected that way i have an extra car doing these big jobs and then of course come this winter when i go to build the motor i have another vehicle that i can drive and i could put you know plenty of junk in the trunk if i need to take it to a machine shop or to a to a bug you know take the head out somewhere whatever it may be but but need a daily for a while so it's not even really a daily just a backup vehicle this is still my daily but uh and you know of course if it's raining real bad or hail or anything i can just take the truck and i don't have to take this out and risk it so we're gonna go check that out he's got a shop and he's got a bunch of trucks and cars he's got some 2j swap datsun from a buddy of his that's deployed so we'll see uh pull the camera out a little bit and check out what he's got almost eighty thousand. crazy so many miles on this car we still got a bunch of stuff to do this summer too we're supposed to go to san diego still and uh what else i want to take the car back up to pennsylvania this year i usually go every other year with the car so i'd like to go to san diego for big socal euro and then uh h2oi back on the east coast i'm originally from pennsylvania so we're not too far from ocean city when my senior week was there i've been there a bunch of times so i'd like to do that this year but uh We'll see. I'd like to get, oh, and then of course we got the MQB shootout in Austin in, uh, in October, but we'll see how everything goes, because I don't know how long it's gonna take for the hatch to get here or the rear subframe. The subframe and all those components come from the UK, so. We'll just have to see how this year goes. I feel like, I mean, racing's about to start picking up again. Corona kinda came through Texas and messed everything up. Canceled autocross last week and uh, the week before that, I was out of town, so I missed the other autocross in Lubbock. But uh, I say next month, everything should be back to normal. We got a bunch of drag, and then we have something to do every weekend in August. So, except for this coming weekend, I think there's not much. But we back to our normal scheduled shenanigans here soon. Lots of racing, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go check out this truck. I should probably do more videos like this, but. I don't normally drive around with the windows down and shit, but this, she pops all the time. I love this car. Sorry about the wind noise.
See the truck? It's not the biggest, baddest truck in the world. I mean, we just drove it around. Everything feels great. The door's a little loose. Needs new door pins, but it's he gave me a handful of extra parts with it. We got some struts for the rear, uh, new lock and keys for the cover thing. What else? Fuel filter, some other random stuff. It's not the most perfect thing in the world. It runs, it's got new stereo, new speakers, um, refresh motor, like I said, it's a 454. Hydraulic assisted brakes, it's got the trailer hookup stuff. I don't really know much about anything when it comes to trucks, but uh, it should be good enough, or more than good enough. I need to find me a trailer and then I'll be able to trailer the golf around in time which it won't be probably for a long time because I'm still going to drive the shit out of this car but now I have, like I said, a second vehicle to drive and we're doing big projects like that subframe and that hatch because I still don't know about doing glass for it or what because certain classes uh, for racing require factory glass so we'll have to decide on that later but probably pick this up later this week he's got to take out the fifth wheel there in the back, but uh, bam, we got a truck. Well, that was pretty cool. Guess I'm getting a truck. I'm kind of excited. I'm, the only other other bigger vehicle I've had before was like my first car was a Dodge Durango with a big old, I think it was like a five eight or a six something motor. It was huge, terrible on gas, but uh, yeah. So this will be this will be dope. At least I have a second backup vehicle for when we're going ham on this car and something to potentially tow it in time and tow parts and I'll have my own truck to go get my own barrels we have more we could have more barrels of fuel at the house and uh, this should be good it's nice to have a, a backup vehicle I'm paying it straight cash so still no car payment and that was one of my big things was I was thinking why well, I needed a second vehicle and I wanted something decent and nice looking I was gonna get an SRT8 Jeep and be able to use that to tow. But I really don't, I just don't want a car payment on like a car that I'm not really like having much fun in. Like what's the point of buying this SRT8 Jeep if I'm not gonna slap some nitrous on it and this and that, which would, which would be fine, but then it's not, you know, I don't wanna have a race tow vehicle. Like that's just kind of weird to me. So I get this nice, decently cheap truck that I can use as a workhorse or a tow pig, whatever you wanna call it, and then if I do decide to actually get another car payment again, which I'm looking, there's many different, I, I really wouldn't mind a C6 Z06, um, TTRS, RS3, um, C5 Z06 too, I mean, there's there's all types of things I would like to get. Supra would probably be my, my first pick. Between the Supra and TTRS, if I'm gonna have a car payment again, and. I want a straight line car, obviously, something auto, something that's gonna respond well to, to mods and have a big aftermarket scene. And, and huge aftermarket with Corvette and both Audis and the Super obviously has tons behind it. So we'll, uh, we'll just have to see how the cookie crumbles. For now, we're still focusing on this. I'm not worrying about getting a drag car anytime soon, but if something nice pops up, then hell yeah, brother, but we'll see do a couple pulls here I'm about out of fuel and luckily we have a couple barrels of fuel at the house so we'll fill up. give you guys some brake boost real quick here Biggest hill in the whole town right here, the overpass. Can't do this shit with one hand. I don't condone such things. 
Tampa. It's just so much fun sometimes. Ridiculous. <laughs> now we're back to the crib. I get to show off this little guy right here. What a dumb piece. You gotta be pretty freaking dumb to buy one of these. It's like, I don't know, 65 bucks or something. Dumb. Dumb. But so necessary. <laughs> anyway, you got a barrel 93. Barrel 85. Um, currently, like I am on a 91 tune, so I just put a little bit of ethanol in the car. Um, I do like one gallon of ethanol to seven gallons of 93, and that brings me out to like an E18 because the 93 we have is 15%, and the ethanol we have is E90. Do the math. It's right in there. Car car likes it a lot, way better than the E1091 that we have. So um, you can definitely feel the difference. Without changing tunes, you know, just just because of the octane rating and all that. But I said here soon, this week most likely, um, the new tune will be ordered, E60, and uh, and we'll be ordering the subframe arms and hatch. I'm thoroughly excited, super. So hopefully, I just know everything's gonna take forever to get here. So I'm just trying not to think about it. It's probably gonna be like six to eight weeks for both. And then I said, I gotta pray that shipping doesn't destroy my shit on the way here. And then, uh, it's, it's gonna be a lot of work installing those things. I'm gonna run wire. I think the hatch will be easier than the subframe for sure, but it's still gonna be a whole ass process. So, anyway, let's get some fuel in this bitch. Some might say this shit's silly and dumb, but uh, it's all worth it, you know, race car shit. Fun stuff. Well guys, that's about all I got for this episode. Um, hopefully this truck serves me well, does its job, doesn't, uh, doesn't let me down. I have faith. I have real good faith and pretty much all of my friends are VA guys so if anything ever really goes wrong the drive team and shit I got plenty of resources and uh, access to lifts and specialty tools for all that kind of stuff so we'll see um, hopefully pick it up later this week I already said I'm gonna buy it so I'm gonna buy it pick it up later this week it's gotta take the, the fifth wheel or whatever it's called out of the bed and uh, then I'll grab it and then uh, as soon as the bank gets back to me this week, I'll be ordering the rest of the stuff for the car. I'm super excited. We're about to make 500 wheel here in the next couple of weeks. It's got to be, we have a big event August 22nd. So I need to get the tune done before then and get on the dyno before then. And then, like I said, there's events every weekend pretty much until, I got something going on every weekend now until like the end of, like almost October. So. Plenty of stuff coming up. This the past couple of weeks has been boring. I apologize. Also, go check out, if you haven't seen the last video, check out the video. Um, we're having this big event in Austin in October. Join the Facebook group. Um, it's going to be dope. It's going to be super dope. Super, super, super dope. And the car is going to be like dialed in by then and shining like a diamond. Can't wait. Anyway, questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip -flop.